This LOS is describe rebalancing and reconstitution of an index. Well, it's nice to do an LOS that's described after all those calculations we did on returns for indexes. Anyhow, now we're looking at index management, rebalancing and reconstitution. Rebalancing refers to adjusting the weights of the constituent securities in the index. Price weighted indices are not rebalanced. I put that in bold. That's important to understand because it's just the sum of the prices divided by the divisor, okay? The number of securities. Because the weight of each constituent security is determined by its price. For market capitalization weighted indices, rebalancing is less of a concern because the indices largely rebalance themselves. So that's an important point. Reconstitution is the process of changing the constituent securities in an index. So we've seen that uh, stocks get dropped out of the index and new stocks are introduced into the index. So it's the process of changing the constituent securities. Rebalancing refers to adjusting the weights, okay? So uh, for reconstitution, it's similar to a portfolio manager deciding to change the securities in his or her portfolio. So reconstitution is part of the rebalancing cycle. The reconstitution date is the date on which the index providers review the constituent securities, reapply the initial criteria for inclusion in the index, and select which securities to retain, remove, or add. Constituent securities that no longer meet their criteria are replaced with securities that do meet the criteria. Once the revised list of the constituent securities is determined, the weighting method is reapplied. Indices are reconstituted to reflect changes in the target market. For example, bankruptcies, delistings, mergers, acquisitions, etc. and or to reflect the judgment of the selection committee. Okay, this is outside the CFA curriculum, but sometimes I like to have a little fun. Uh, this is from the CNBC website, and it says, Back to the Future, a visual tour of the Dow 30 Index. It's really interesting. So it says, The history of the Dow Jones Industrial Average is a history of the U.S. economy. And they have a visual visualization, which I'll show here in a second. It tracks the companies that over the past 87 years have entered and left the iconic index as their fortunes rose and fell. So we're talking about reconstitution of the index. Companies have been included and then they've been uh, not included in the Dow 30. So while the Dow Jones Industrial Average tracks the stock prices of its 30 elite members, uh, this visualization illustrates the total value of each company as measured by monthly average market capitalization, okay? So if I just scroll down a little bit, uh, and it, you can see here it starts from the roaring 20s, and then you can scroll across and uh, see the different areas, the Great Depression, the war years, the post, and it shows you the uh, 30 stocks and, the, and their weightings. But if you just start here back at the beginning, the roaring 20s, it's very interesting to look. I can scroll down, and you can see uh, some of the names of the companies, American Smelting, American Sugar, American Tobacco, Steel, Chrysler's listed there, General Electric's is listed there, okay, uh, General Motors, and uh, an interesting one here down at the bottom, Wright Aeronautical, I don't think they're around anymore, uh, Woolworths, uh, so Sears Roebuck, Texaco, some, some names that we are still familiar with, and then if I just skip across, um, you know, um, to the uh, current time, uh, 19, 1980s, 1990s, 2000, 2010 to the present, we start to look at some of the company names. So if I just scroll down, now we're looking at uh, the present time, 3M, American Express, Apple, AT&T, Boeing, Caterpillar, um, you know, all the big U.S. company names that we're familiar with, Walmart, Walt Disney, Verizon, a lot more technology companies now. Nike's in there, okay? So just a nice little, uh, if you Google search that, CNBC, the history of the Dow 30. Again, sometimes I like to look at something in the text talking about uh, rebalancing or reconstitution. Well, the reconstitution of the, the history of the Dow 30 is uh, really interesting. And one last thing on that, you can see of the 30 current stocks, fewer than half of them were members in 1989. Only five have maintained membership for 50 years, and only one, General Electric, has been a Dow stock since the index expanded to 30 companies on October 1st, 1928. Uh, by 2039, some of today's iconic companies will likely have faded away, like old Kodak photo, or closed up shop like a Woolworths lunch counter. 
So anyhow, again, just sometimes taking something that we see in the text and looking out to the real world and seeing uh, an interesting article. So one quick practice question to finish this LOS. Reconstitution of a security market index reduces A, portfolio turnover, B, the need for rebalancing, or C, the likelihood that the index includes securities that are not representative of the target market. And C is correct. I think that question wasn't too bad. Uh, reconstitution is the process by which index providers review the constituent securities, reapply the initial criteria for inclusion in the index, and se select which securities to retain, remove, or add. Constituent securities that no longer meet their criteria are replaced with securities uh, that do. Thus, reconstitution reduces the likelihood that the index includes securities that are not representative of the target market. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.